Hi, this is Presh Talker. In this video, we're going to describe the math of what a standard drink is. In America, they often say that one beer is equal to one glass of wine, which is also equal to one shot of hard alcohol. But where did they come up with this equivalency between different types of alcohol? The reason is the definition of a standard drink is 0.6 fluid ounces of alcohol and each of these drinks actually contains that amount of alcohol. We can verify this by looking at the alcohol percentage of each of the drinks, and we'll also write down the standard serving size of each of these drinks. When we multiply the alcohol percentage by the drink size, we find that each of these drinks contains the standard 0.6 fluid ounces of alcohol. And this is great for theory, but what happens in practice? Let's say you go to a bar and order a tall craft beer. Now very likely this tall craft beer may have 7% alcohol, and a tall beer is often served in a 23 ounce glass. So what you end up with is about 2.7 standard drinks. Similarly, if you get a cocktail and someone serves you a strong cocktail, you may end up with something which has a little bit higher alcohol percentage and it might have a little more alcohol than the standard serving. And so you'll end up with more than just one standard drink. You can even run into trouble with wine. Many wines, in fact, are not 12%, but they are 15%, and someone might serve you a little more than a standard serving size. So even with wine, you can end up with nearly double the amount of alcohol. So if you want to keep track of the number of drinks you're having in a night, you can follow this formula. The number of standard drinks will be equal to the volume times the alcohol percentage divided by 0.6. The numerator tells you how much alcohol is in your drink, and the denominator standardizes this to one drink equivalent. You can often find the alcohol percentage just by looking at the label and looking for the ABV, which is the alcohol by volume. There are many websites and even smartphone apps that'll do this calculation for you. But if you find this is all too much trouble, you can save yourself the calculation, the calories, and the cash by choosing not to drink for the night. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can support me on Patreon to get exclusive rewards. Catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, on Twitter at Presh Talwalker, and you can get my books listed on my website, 